so there was, you know, 500 startups. We did that 850. Um, the following year. So right with, right when we got out of 500 and we like, we did like a super launch. Mm -hmm. It just started like taking off. It just started taking off. Like, um, like we did like 4 million in the first year. It was just like, people now calling you or investors now. You, now they're calling me. Gotcha. Now they're calling me. Um, and um, <clears throat> so we're growing really fast. I'm adding employees. And um, I think in that first year, 2014, uh, two very small rounds, but I wanted to get a couple people in. Like, you know, Serena Williams came in that year. Um, Base Ventures, my guy, Eric Moore came in. Um, and then, you know, so I, I, I look at all that as like kind of part of the seed round. Um, so you could say like all together, there was about uh, 2 million raised in that first year. Then we did our series A in 2015. And that was a $10 million round that was led by Andreessen Horowitz. Um, and then um, in 2018, did another $20 million round. Uh, actually, we had another bridge round in 2017 for about $7 million. So all together, we raised $41 million. I want to go backwards, but I want to yeah. stay here for one second. At what point do you look in the mirror and be like, damn, I, me, Deshaun, I started a business yeah. that others see such potential in that we raised $41 million. I haven't gotten to your revenues, any of that stuff. Yeah. But just to think that here you have some African-American women that wanted to see this business come to life and they entrusted you with their hard-earned money, $48,000, to now you have infiltrated Silicon Valley. Yeah. Several rounds of funding, $41 million. Like, do yeah. you pinch it? Like, is there a moment that you sit with your mother or, 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 or you're with your partner or you're by yourself and you're like, I did it? Yeah. I mean, I have those... Um, I have those moments, you know what I mean, from time to time where I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I look at, I look at like 10, I'm like, yo, that shit worked. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, it worked. You know, yo, it shit worked, <laughs> you know? Um, but honestly, I have way more moments where I'm like, we gotta do more there's just way more levels to get to where I'm just like, it's not enough. There's okay, too no, many no, no, more no, levels. No. I, I get it. This is, this is, I, I, I understand. I Let's take a step back because I don't yeah. want to get too far ahead of myself in this interview. Yeah. Yeah. On the streets, you get into 500 startups, you're making about $7,000 a month. Yeah. At what point did you start to see real momentum? At what point did you start to scale this thing and understand, okay, it's one thing to have this idea in my head and I know it can scale, to now you're seeing your network being built and it's incrementally climbing. Is this right away? Is it, is it over the, the first time it really, really hit us? So... After 500 startups, you know, maybe when we left 500 startups, we may be doing like, you know, 10 to 12 grand a month. And we, um, by, we, we figured out by that time how to get more stylists into the network. So <clears throat> this is actually a good story. Like, how we got like the first thousand hairstylists. We figured out that this is at the time when Two Chains had the song out where he said, Hair Weave Killer. And 
we, we figured out that if we went on onto Instagram and we searched the hashtag hair weave killer, it was all hairstylists posting. And this is 2014. Instagram didn't have DMs at the time. All they had was comments. So we would just jump in the comments of any stylist who had posted with Hair, hair Weave Killer. We'd say, do you want to make money selling hair? No inventory required. Free website. Just email us at um, maven.com. <clears throat> and we just started getting all these emails. And it was, thou it was thousands. Everybody was posting Hair Weave Killer. Wow. Everybody. And so then by like... December, we, I think it was like 40K a month in sales. And then what hit us that we didn't know until our first year was that <clears throat> this business goes ham in tax season. <laughs> 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 so, so we weren't expecting this at, like it came out of nowhere like out of nowhere and now we've learned that like we have this thing like down to the day now because there's literally like a direct deposit day for you know for income to, for uh whatever tax refunds or whatever and <clears throat> business tripled like it just tripled and stayed up there for like two and a half months Woo! So then all of a sudden, we're doing like 140K a month. It was like, what the fuck? Like, I had to call my cousin to come help me bag hair. And they're, you know, like, we're in this tiny office with just like piles of. Good. You know, I, like, I was about to go there. How many employees do you have at this moment? Maybe like seven. Okay. So you're still a small business. Yeah. Yeah. Very small business. Hold yeah. Are you are you national at this point or are you local? National. But okay. once we started getting people off Instagram, you're they were all over the place. Okay, S stay yeah. with me for one second because I want to make sure the audience understands your business model. You just yeah. alluded to it. You're working directly with the stylists. Yeah. You're building a website for the yeah. stylists. No money out their pocket. Yeah. All they have to do is exactly what they've been doing. Yeah. They tell their clients, buy your hair from me. You take care of the back end. Yeah. They receive a purchase off the sale and everything stays in house. Yeah. Did I get that the correct? Did, the style, exactly. The stylist does not have to buy inventory from us. All they do is tell their client, buy from their website which we made for them. Client buys it, Maven ships the product to the customer, and we pay the stylist the commission. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.